enduros have always been great fun events to do. There was one year where my son-in-law David, Josh's younger brother, uh, shared my vin art with me. <laughs> Um, doing my stint and I was just going on to the back straight and the steering column basically the nut on the bottom had come off and so the steering column sort of unplugged itself so I had to sort of stagger into the pits and get the thing back together. I shared a Briggs with Darren one year and we used one of the club carts that we that we rented. That was a, a fun event, we did okay but uh, the cart was not all that much fun to drive. I don't really enjoy the Briggs all that much, they're very sort of slow and heavy. I always enjoy doing things like that um, with Darren. He's a really clever guy and a really nice guy too. I did race in Darren's Rotex two or three times uh, in Enduros and that was really enjoyable. There was the year when Darren had designed a quick release fuel tank so our pit stops were really fast so you unplugged one fuel tank and slotted the next one in. Really clever stuff. Uh, they got banned for the next year by the club after that. But the really cool thing in 2020 was the National Endurance Championship. This was the second year of its running and that was using the Briggs and you could have three drivers. The way the rules worked, the average weight of the cart plus drivers, that was how it was calculated. So uh, the plan was to have Edward and Josh running really light and then I was the heavy fat guy in the middle which meant that they could go much faster and I could drive a big long stint in the middle and we were basically able to do it for not much cost because it was a, a team that was being run as the we were the second cart in the team and you know everything was sort of provided for us so it was a, a, a good uh, fun race for us and um, I just did that middle stint, you know, I was pretty slow but consistent. Edward had started fast and Josh was able to finish really quickly and come into second behind our teammates. So it was a great, a great um, one-two for the team and a really fun event for us. change the floor for this stainless steel one which will be uh, harder wearing let's add a bit of weight to the cart I'll change these nice wets of Josh's over to front hubs that will fit these ones here that normally run on the arrow and we've got these old much harder bridge stones which we might be able to get away with running in open class because we're going to run 
and open so we can get Josh down to the 130 kg weight limit and I'll be somewhere up in the 170s like 176 or something like that might have to bolt some lead on put a bunch of it on Josh's cart over here that we can take off and add as we need it just need to repair this breather it can go into that one and block that little hole there off and we're going to test uh, with this tank we're going to fill it run it for 15 minutes see how how much we run it down because we we're hoping to run for sort of half hour stints at the start and the finish of the 90 minute enduro and then with a shorter stint slightly shorter stint in the middle so Josh will run the first and last because he'll be faster by we think about 1.2 or 3 seconds okay so with the done fuel tank steering wheel cool FKR a bit broken at the front, we're going back to the arrow, it's got quite a big tank on it. Mm. Would you like to hop on the scales, Mr. Lee? Okay. so much better than the other one.
Yeah, take your time. Quite make it to the end, but <laughs> seven six point five. <laughs> <laughs> it does work for the KG. Hey, look at that! Yeah. Yeah. Huge surprise. Oh, the chain set from two places. Oh, I told you, like chain. Come on, five minutes chain. Come on, let's go. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I shouldn't have said anything. Ridiculous. We hope to be around 40 seconds with you on the car. Roughly, yeah. And about. I got a fast 39.5. Right. And were well, mine 42s or were they slower? Yeah, I felt like the. Oh, I just got back. 